Okay, as you can see in today's video, we're going to be going over what is the difference between speed and velocity. Please, before you get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Step by Step Science. Get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Please subscribe, click the notifications bell, comment, thumbs up, and don't forget to share. And also, please don't forget, it's very important for you to understand what is the difference between speed and velocity. Sometimes they seem like the same thing, but they're actually very different from each other. And I did make some other videos for difference between distance displacement and acceleration. You can link to those in the upper right hand corner of this video. But of course, this video is speed and velocity. We're going to start off with average speed and average velocity, talk about instantaneous speed and velocity, and then we're going to do some examples to clarify everything. You can link or click to the examples from the timestamps in the description below. Average speed. Average speed is how fast an object is going. An object could be going, for example, 5 meters per second, 65 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour, or something like that. That tells you how fast the object is going. Speed is a scalar. It's described only by the magnitude, which is basically this number. That tells you how fast you're going. Don't forget, you have to include the units also. To calculate the speed, you need to know the distance an object has traveled and the time it took to go that distance. Five meters per second, distance and time. Because this is how we calculate the average speed. S with the bar over it is for average speed. It's just distance divided by time. You should have seen this equation before. Very simple, distance divided by time. S is the speed given in meters per second. D is the distance given in meters. And uh, T is the time given in seconds. Average speed is just your distance divided by your time. Okay, what about average velocity? Well, average velocity is the rate of change of position of an object. All right, for example, we could have five meters per second to the east. Now remember, velocity is a vector quantity, which means you have to include the magnitude, which is the five, and the direction, which is to the east. All right, and oftentimes people use uh, north, south, east, west, up, down, left, right. But in math, we usually use negative and positive. So for example, this object could have an average velocity of minus 23.7 meters per second. That means it's changing its position on average 23.7 meters for every second, but because it's negative, it means it's going in the negative direction. Okay, please don't forget negative does not mean the object is slowing down. It just means it's going in the negative direction as opposed to the positive direction, which we'll talk about in a moment. Okay, remember I said it's a vector quantity, magnitude and direction, number and sign, or number and direction. And you calculate the velocity, you need to know the change in position, which is the displacement, and the time it took for that change to occur. All right, so it's just change in position over time. I did make a video, what's the difference between distance and displacement? You can link to that video in the upper right hand corner of this video. Now here's how we calculate average velocity. Average velocity is simply change in position over time. Bar velocity, average velocity. Please remember the change in position is always the final minus the initial. If you want to get the sign right, so you come out with the right answer with the right sign, please remember it's position final minus position initial, not the other way around, not just simply the difference of the two positions. It's always final minus initial divided by the time. All right? Please remember V is for velocity, once again, in meters per second. Position final, PF is position final. The positions are given in meters, position final and position initial. And the time, once again, is given in seconds. Okay, that's average speed and average velocity. I want to point out again that the sign of the velocity tells you the direction, positive or minus, positive or negative. Okay, it tells you just the direction that the object is going. If the velocity is positive, it's going in the positive direction. If it's negative, it's going in the negative direction. It does not tell you anything about slowing down or speeding up. Sometimes people think if you have a minus 5 meters per second velocity, then you're going, not that you're going, but that means you're slowing down. Or if it's a positive velocity, it's speeding up. No, no, no. Positive or negative is just 
the direction of motion. For example, if I have a velocity of plus 5 meters per second and you have a velocity of minus 5 meters per second, then we're going with the same speed, 5 meters per second, but you're going in the positive direction and I'm going in the opposite direction, which is negative. Okay, the sign of the velocity tells you the direction, not speeding up and slowing down. And in most cases, we say that the velocity is to the left is negative and the velocity to the right is positive. Up is positive and down is negative. All right? It's just the direction of motion. Now, instantaneous speed and velocity, as the term implies, instantaneous speed is the speed at any given instant in time. The best example is the speedometer. You look down at some instant in time when you're driving. You look down and it says 60 kilometers per hour. That means you're going 60 kilometers per hour. That's your speed at that instant in time. That's your instantaneous speed. If you were to say the direction, then it could be your instantaneous velocity if you included the direction. At some instant later, you may be going faster or you may be going slower. But the speedometer tells you your speed or your velocity at that instant in time. You can think of the instantaneous speed as the speed that the speedometer reads at any given instant in time. And the average speed is the average of all the speedometer readings during a particular trip. Okay, if you took a speedometer reading every second or every minute or whatever it happened to be and you add them all up, that would be the average. But the instantaneous is the speed at that instant in time. Okay, now we have some examples that we're going to go over to hopefully clarify the difference between speed and velocity. Okay, example number one is like this. Joan can ride her bike 475 meters to the left, okay, in 2.5 minutes. We want to know what is her average speed and velocity, and we're going to do that in meters per second. Now, I think it's always good to just draw a really simple picture in this case She's going to the left, 475 meters, and I put 150 seconds. 150 seconds is 2.5 meters, excuse me, 2.5 minutes. 60 plus 60 plus another half is 30. That's 150 seconds. Now we can calculate her average speed. The average speed is the distance divided by the time she went 475 meters in 150 seconds. And that means that she went with an average speed, or she had an average speed, of 3.17 meters per second. Well, what about her average velocity? For her average velocity, we need to know her initial position and her final position. Well, her initial position we would be where she starts. We could just say that's zero. And her final position is 475 meters minus 475 meters because she went to the left, and to the left is negative. We want to make sure if we're going to calculate the velocity that we include the direction, and therefore we have to include the negative sign. Okay, you could put left here, but we usually put, as I said, positive or minus. So the final position is minus 475 meters. The initial position is 0 meters divided by 150. And you can see we now get not just 3.17 meters per second, but minus 3.17 meters per second is her velocity. That means she was changing her position 3.17 meters every second in the negative direction. You have to include the direction for the velocity. You could write down here to the left and leave the minus sign off, but you just put the minus sign. Okay, example number one. Example number two, we have Roger. He's running to the right with an average speed of 9.65 meters per second. He does that for eight seconds. We want to know how far did he go. So once again, you can just draw a little picture. Okay, he's going to the right. We're going to calculate how far. We're going to use our distance equation with the distance and time for speed, the average speed. We want to calculate the distance. We're going to rearrange the equation, which gives us the distance is equal to the average speed times the time. The average speed is 9.65 meters per second. He does that for eight seconds. You can see that seconds cancel, and we're left with meters, and that's 77.2 meters. That means he would go during those eight seconds, if he's going with an average speed of 9.65 meters per second, he would cover 77.2 meters. Okay? So that is example number two. Now let's go on and do example number three. Now this one's a little more complicated. I tried to make it a little more complicated. So there's a bigger difference between the speed and the velocity. It says Sandra is driving her car 45 kilometers to the west. Let's draw a little arrow showing 45 kilometers to the west. 
Then she turns around and now she's going to drive 110 meters to the east. Look at that. And she's going to do that in two hours. And we want to know what is your average speed and velocity. We want to know the answer in meters per second. Now, we could convert these to meters. That would work out. I didn't convert them to meters first because I wanted to show you how to convert kilometers per hour to meters per second. So we're going to start off with her uh, average speed is the distance that she went. Now, she went one way and then the other way, but the distance is this plus this. That's how far she went, which means it's 155 kilometers in two hours, which gives us 78 kilometers per hour. All right, now it says give you answer in meters per second. We're going to calculate the average velocity, and then we'll convert those two from kilometers per hour to meters per second. That's always fun. Okay, now what about her average velocity, right? The average velocity is the position final minus the position initial over the change in the time. Well, we need to know what was her initial position and what was her final position, and we can say that the initial position, once again, is zero meters, this arrow represents her change in position, okay? Her displacement, her change in position, that little triangle means delta, is the Greek letter delta, which means change in position. P is for position. And from here to here is minus 65 kilometers. Her position changed by minus 65 kilometers. She started here and she ended here. For velocity, we don't care what she did in between. All we care about, as you can see from the equation, is the final position and the initial position. We got the final position by taking the difference of these two. If she goes 45 this way and then comes back 110 this way, well, that's 65 or minus 65 kilometers from where she started. And then we can simply plug the values in. We get minus 65 kilometers is her final position. Minus zero kilometers is her initial position. And we have the two hours. And she had an average velocity of minus 33 kilometers per hour. You can kind of see this is 65, two hours. I rounded uh, it was probably a 32.5, and I rounded it like that into 33 kilometers per hour. Now, we want to convert both of those answers, the, the average speed and average velocity, into meters per second. Here's our answers in kilometers per hour. We're going to say this is a two-step problem because first we're going to calculate or first convert the kilometers. We know that in one kilometer, there are 1,000 meters. So I did that for both of them. This is the conversion factor that allows us to, uh, what do we call that, cancel the kilometers. And we now have meters per hour. We want meters per second. Well, in one hour, there are 3,600 seconds. That allows us to cancel our hours. And you can see if you look across here, we're left with meters on the top, seconds on the bottom. So we take 78. Multiply by 1,000, divide by 3,600, and you get that the average speed in meters per second is 21.7 meters per second, and the average velocity is minus 9.16 meters per second. Okay? So there you go. That's a very good, I think, uh, description between average speed, average velocity, instantaneous speed, instantaneous velocity, and then... There were some of those really good examples that I did to go over and clarify the differences between speed and velocity. Okay, I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, please do all the following four things. Subscribe to my, I think it's now five things. Four, subscribe, notifications bell. Please give me a thumbs up. Please uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video. And share, don't forget sharing is caring. Share this video with all of your friends. Show them just how much you care. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.